I need to tell you something. And I need you to believe me. I think Chucky did something. Hi everyone, Vegas from Critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard, here to review Child's Play, starring Aubrey Plaza, Gabriel Bateman, Brian Tyree Henry, and Mark Hamill as the voice of Chucky, directed by Lars Klevberg. Uh, you know, Child's Play, I love the original series. Uh, Don Mancini, of course, uh, the creator of that series, uh, really gave us a brand new genre in the horror, film, horror genre. Uh, I just loved it. I really did. So when they were rebooting this, I thought, okay, that's interesting. But I thought to myself, wait a minute, isn't the original creator, Don Mancini, doing a, a television series, I think for sci-fi or something? He's using Chucky too. So while doing some research on this, uh, it seems that Orion MGM, that owns the rights to the original film, only has the rights to remake the original film. So they decided to remake Child's Play, even though Chucky is, is still going forward with, with uh, Brad Dourif and, and Don Mancini for another franchise. So it's really strange they did this, but it was totally done for monetary reasons, right? Uh, so this time they did a little twist on it. The filmmakers, instead of having a doll that has uh, uh, some sort of voodoo kind of demon possessed in it, trying to get into the body of a child for immortality, uh, this time Chucky is artificial intelligence. So the film opens up somewhere in a factory in Vietnam. Disgruntled employee takes off all the safety features of Chucky, that one particular doll, ships it over to America. And of course, problems happen with it where Aubrey Plaza is uh, a, a single mother who works at one of these uh, cheap kind of discount uh, Walmarts uh, wants to get a present for her son uh, Andy I think his name is Andy and uh, so they don't have much money but he wants a good guy's doll right but of course he's like what 13 now 14 so when he gets this doll he's like please but he starts warming up to it when he takes the doll out and it starts talking to him it's like a Teddy Ruxpin you know it's really really creepy uh, and then it goes from there while Chucky starts having all these malfunctions. Uh, he starts killing people. He starts uh, getting Andy in trouble with his mom's girl, with his mom's boyfriend, and uh, all kinds of crazy, th crazy things happen. Here's where the movie fails completely for me. It's easy in the original series. I'm. Ugh, I'm so mad at this movie. It's easy in the original series to believe some uh, voodoo kind of uh, evil devil kind of worship where the, the soul of the man goes into to a doll and then he wants to transfer it. Remember, he used to do that incantation over the kid's face to get his soul in there. Well, we'll suspend our disbelief for that. Now, when you have a doll with artificial intelligence, unless this is Child's Play 2424, a lot of the things that Chucky does, excuse me, everything he does doesn't make sense. You don't buy it. How does Chucky get around? right? How does he walk around? How does he leave the apartment? How does he go to people's houses to kill them? How does he hold a knife? How does he do all these things when he's supposed to be just a regular uh, Teddy Ruxpin, run of the mill kind of doll? So that didn't make any sense. You didn't understand how any of this stuff was going on. If he stayed in one place, if he was more psychological horror, I think that would be a, a better avenue to, to explore because in the movie he was getting his uh, getting in trouble with his mom because his her mom's boyfriend, he would say things that, that Chucky would record and play back when he was around. So there was all this kind of tension you know with the, no father around and he hates the boyfriend so that was cool about what chucky would record everything and and do something that artificial intelligence would do but i kept thinking to myself wait a minute how does chucky kill people how does he do all these things when he's just a normal kind of run-of-the-mill 50 dollar doll so that made no sense whatsoever it made sense when you know uh brad dorf possessed the doll because it was a human being in there and you kind of suspended your disbelief for that but when you're watching technology it's like wait a minute how does that all work the other major problem I have with it is when Chucky starts slicing up Andy, when he starts doing all these evil things other than the, the psychological warfare, I think to myself, well, you know, why don't they burn the doll? Why don't they throw the doll away? Who keeps putting batteries in this thing? Who keeps charging Chucky, right, to keep these things going on? And what happens when anything major happens? The kid puts him in the closet. He gives him a scolding and then puts him in the closet after he has a knife and cuts his arm. You're like, what? So nothing makes sense in this movie. Yeah, we're trying to believe a doll that's killing people, but an artificial intelligence was a great way to go with it, but it didn't make any sense when this doll can do anything when the technology doesn't exist for it. Does that make sense? So well into this movie when Chucky starts, you know, heading off to kill people or, or doing something that's just physically impossible for this crummy doll, I just, I, I couldn't believe anything else. I couldn't understand the teenagers when this doll was doing all these different things. They kept it around. You know, they kept it around. They kept talking about it. And when it's tearing people's faces off, they're sitting there, what do we do? The first thing you do is you burn that damn doll. Or you, it's just, right? It doesn't make any sense. It really didn't make any sense. Couldn't suspend my disbelief in this. I just hated this film. I really did. Sorry, I know a lot of critics have been reading the reviews going, wow, it's a new fresh take, and I was really surprised how much I like Child's Play. I was the opposite. I hated this movie. I, I didn't buy any of it, and you know, I, I didn't understand why in the world this doll could do so many things when the technology for that doll didn't exist. They went the wrong way with it. But of course, it's a Child's Play film, so if he's not knifing people, 
What's the point? All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you're watching on YouTube, what did you think of the new Child's Play? Did you have the problem like I did, that you just didn't buy any of it? It was just too corny and too... It didn't make any sense? Uh, let me know. Comment below. I'm Jeffrey Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.